Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match of CCL season 48 between Augmented Beard and his Proels and Fatal Justice and his Amazons. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello everybody. Here we are a very heavy guard Amazon team with two tacklers versus elves with a one turner. Uh, yes, a natural one turner. Oh, it's the one that put Rick out, isn't it? Yeah. But no reserves, so that one turner is a target. Yeah, he's he's got this one turner that just somehow never scores the like he's never scores the one turn right, <laughs> but he's still got through. He's still got this far, far with a one turner that can't score a one turn. Um, mostly because it was cast out. Yeah, a couple of tacklers, um, but no mighty blow. Whereas Fatal Justice has tackle pom. Which is very good. Put the three guard on the LOS, which I wasn't a fan of, but never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Skuro. Um, oh, I don't know. I thought it was funny that all of the Americans decided to stay in America, whereas all of the Euros followed the Dryad. I thought that was that was really funny. Was the pylon? And I thought we know which four people to not trust who voted for not to continue peeing on the Dryad. Dryad? Dryad. <laughs> <laughs> the Proel team is very basic. I think they've done well to get the third round. Um, Amazons are not the greatest team, so they might be able to win this match as well. Who knows? There are no wizards involved, so... There's apples there, so yes, he just ate the injury. Yeah, I mean, he has much better uh, place than was a niggling injury, I think. Cobra Daka, yeah, of course, Cobra Daka is a great name. I was supporting him instantly, I said I was supporting him because the name. Notice he's not dackering this game, which is, you know, it's a dangerous, right? Because this is, you know, zones are pretty. Pretty fighty. They've got a tackle pommer. They've got a tackle mighty. They've got loads of guard. I wouldn't have minded dackering here. Amazons will never win Chalice. To be fair, they probably won't win Chalice. They definitely could, but I still I agree that Dimmy that they won't. <laughs> There you go, Jeff. I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't want the story to be normal. I wanted it to be crazy. <laughs> what, what's the point of a choose-your-own-adventure and then you just like? I'm not sure what they find. They find as normal anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Champ guarantee. Oh baby. Sons versus shitbirds. <laughs> if it was the shitbirds, I'm cheering for the shitbirds. But I can't see the shitbirds winning another game. To be fair. Yeah, I, like, I think Dakaring's great. I saw you Dakaring versus Daedal earlier, Wolfpack. But um, I really like the Dakar. I think it's very, very powerful. I don't know, the, 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 the Dryad scared me, to be honest, Try. The Dryad scared me. Yeah, the, the thing here is, uh, you know, for the defense of the elves, they don't have... Anything that can stop more or less the sons. Mm. Yes, they have tackle and uh, they have a wrestle uh, steel ball, you know, but versus a whole cage. Yeah, I don't, I, I wonder who won the toss because I feel like the Proils need like their full team to defend, right? And hope they get some, some kind of look basically on defense. But if they receive and like take attrition, which they already have done. Um, yeah, how are they going to defend? Also, they have the one turner, so yes, they will have chosen defense 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Well, unless uh, Mented Beer have a you know, secret plan that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they, they, yeah, that's right. The Zons must have definitely won the toss because they're nanny. <laughs> I was asleep and also devastated to find out we left the drive. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> so yeah. they just 
become now a half Dhaka by there, as you know, trying to get up, then going down. Yeah, yeah, he thought better of it, didn't he? He tried to push, couldn't get anywhere. Oh, look, the Urasel street ball player is going to die. <laughs> Maybe. Because he's it's, it's been exposed, so... Yep. Yeah, his best defensive player. About to get piled. But there is a dirty player still around. Yeah, he did suicide his strength four blitzer in the previous round, yeah. Not not one for protecting players is augmented beard. Everybody's equal. <laughs> ah, here comes the foul. But some are more equal than others. Oh GFI to get a foul. Absolutely professional. Ugh. Terrible foul, I would never have done that. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> and now there's a gaping hole here, isn't there? Yep. Yes, but the problem the problem with carrying on the on the on the move up guy is that he can't transfer the ball away from him, right? Like if this yeah. was any other player, you could move him up, hand off, and then move up, but. There's no way you can just let him tackle pom this fucking guy. I don't know why is that guy carrying the ball. He doesn't have sure hands or anything. Yeah, because look, now, now he's now he's going to expose him, right? So now he's got to protect the ball and protect this guy because this is how you win the game. I mean, you can, but I don't think you should. Okay, well, all right, all right, Wolfpack. <laughs> There's certain grade of protection there, so that's all yeah. right. But to I be fair, they... he had piled on and, and he was already down, but still, like, that was. They're just The stars aligned for him to be able to break through there, right? The, 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 the stars aligned because there was a gap and both players were down, so it was like the perfect turn to go through and there was a gap left, so you got to say that's kind of bad from Fatal Justice to have left that gap open with both tacklers down. Oh. Wow, Wolf Bar Is this going to be the classic, the classic of basing the ball? No, no, no. Just, just fouling. Wolfpark, honestly, you're talking like someone who's never played Blood Bowl before. See, look, instant foul, instant cast. <laughs> An instant apple, so the apple's gone. Yeah. And the dirty player is gone, but... Oh, you had a bribe. Ooh! Had a bribe, Fatal Justice. Wasn't well, a perm, but it doesn't matter about the perm. Just if, if, if this guy goes off, you don't score your one-turner, right? Even if it's a kill that he doesn't recover from, like... This is how you win. This is how you win this guy not getting... Not getting removed, right? So I would have not carried on him just for that. Like as it happened, it happened perfectly. He was able to transfer it while the tackles are out of action. But if if that had not been the perfect turn, like if this guy gets hit, you can just lose the game, can't you? Like it's I mean, how you lose the game is this guy getting hit. I mean, stress the apple can be a proper uh, uh, strategy in blood ball. If you have been playing blood ball for more than three games. <laughs> You know, trust the apple to work like this. Uh... <laughs> okay, just... now, now he's protecting him like. Uh... <laughs> so I guess that was the plan. After you transfer it, just run back to your own end zone. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I mean, he's going to work. He's going to manage the, the eight ton stall. Yeah. I'd still send two people back to hit him. I'd still send two people back to hit him. Not even, not even joking. The mighty blow uh, tackler. Yeah, yeah, I'd send him in the DP. All the way back. Send a message. Yeah, 15 away, so. He might get it in the rest of the tournament. If he gets the final. It's a lot of touchdowns, but he is a natty. I guess just base everything and hope that he goes in early and gives you a two turn chance. Another KO. Ah, boo! 
Not chasing the natty. Boo! Mr. Tato is not Triff. He'd have an 80% win rate if he was Triff. I like this, you know, getting things far away and back. The guard elf is at three. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that's why I wouldn't have carried on him because. Yeah. I mean, there's no pressure on the stall. Right? Like, he, I think he should have paced everybody because. Yeah, I would have him protected upfield. Like if I was, gonna, I mean, I would have just dacked it anyway. But if if your plan was to like do what he did, then I would have just had like a lineman or whatever with the ball and ready to deliver now to him. Now he's going for the diving tackle piece, probably. It's the GFI though, isn't it? GFI to hit him, so we might just go for this. This guy. No, he is doing the GFI. Yep. Yeah. Reroll here. Reroll. Who do you pile on there? Nah, yes. probably not. Yes, yes, pile on. You, you try to get the, you know, one in 36. Nah, pile on. Should have piled on. One in 36s don't happen. <laughs> they just don't. Imagine thinking one in 36 is going to happen. Yeah, we'll have pile on probably. Yeah, just pile. Hoping for one in 36s is, is, is no way. No way to go through life. Yeah, usually only works one in 22 times. One in 22. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. And there you go. Yep. So, successful half for both, really, in a way. Because uh, Fatal Justice removed the bench, removed the apple. Oh, yes. So. Just no apple, one KO. Three only hits with a dirty player. Yeah, one in 36s. They happen so little, yeah. so, so rarely that it's not worth trying to uh the only time it's worth trying is uh, turn 16 you know and before uh, because you don't care if you kill a piece or not so it's like okay let's go for the one in 36 so you lose the game yeah i, th yeah, I think trying to kill the guys just better like you much more it was, more uh, it, it was diving that. tackle uh, tackle piece versus amazon so yeah that's the yeah. other probably best piece to try to achieve something here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, obviously, you do want to make them roll one in 36s. Like, do you know what I mean? If it's better than not making them roll one in 36s, but it's the opportunity cost, isn't it? So, like, yes, if you could add a one in 36 to every action that your opponent does every single turn, you would do that for free. Oh, riot! But, um, seeing as it costs you things to do that, you can't. Well, Another man. game with a riot at the beginning and a riot at the end of the half. Yeah. That is interesting. There is a chance for the Zons now, isn't there? Maybe... Nah, they couldn't end up in anti-riot. They couldn't set up an anti-riot because they don't want to get pommed, do they? <laughs> yeah. They don't want a good place to get pommed. Also, most of the elves move six anyway, so... Uh, the only the only inducement was the was the bribe. Dimmy was here earlier. Uh, Dimmy already gave his speech. Yep. I would have pushed him to here, gone in there, and then chained this guy forward one. What I would have done. I would uh, block back. with a uh, block uh, downless instead of a tackle. Mm. 
So you can kill, you know, the wrestle tackle, uh, to move it up, to try to open a space. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. That was that's his best blitzer, isn't it, for like scoring basically. Yeah, for yeah, opening a space or something like that. You need could be behind the ball and. Uh... I'm confused. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Okay, right. Oh, okay, okay, it's putting yeah, okay, okay. And he goes there. I know. GFI, Blitz, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is good enough, isn't it? I was bamboozled by the line of three. I was like, you can't afford that guy in the three. Yeah, well, I thought I just thought you can't afford to have three here, but then he was just moving the back guy later, which makes well, sense. Well, I guess you go through the. Oh, yeah, you try to power him. Doesn't get the power now. He's fucked. That was the best way to go, wasn't it? If you can power him. Yeah. So it made sense to try and do that. Now he just goes straight through. Yolo fails. Riot, not decisive. Oh, the knockouts stay out. Mm. So now, how many? Nine players? For the elves? I think so. Because oh, they didn't have any reserves, so yeah, there's the eight. Or the elves. They started with one reserve, I believe. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, nine, nine. Nine for the elves. So all they have to do is keep the natty alive, and then score, and they win 2-1. That's exciting good ball for you. <laughs> I'm going to have to check my porridge. <laughs> Ooh, a blutz. Well, that is exciting. The uh, the natty might might get exposed. Nope, he's going back to the end zone. <laughs> At least he knows what his win condition is. Oh, Le Double skulls puts in a reroll. By the way, good setup, wasn't it? Good setup from the Zons here. By the way, the elf screen here and these two here. So he wasn't uh, he wasn't exposed on the blitz. Well done, Fatal Justice. Not being a shitter. All right, then, Mac. <laughs> Hello. There was a blitz by me. Oh, glorious. <laughs> Possibly unprecedented. It's it's out astounding how many times people don't set up against Blitz in Chalice. It's like it's unbelievable really because you know it they is about think the they highest. will never happen to them. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like it's one of the highest level games. Like events in in Blood Bowl, isn't it? In the world of Blood Bowl, it has to be. Yes, and I mean, it's not like you sacrifice too much, preparing a little versus a uh, blitz. Mm. Especially versus elves, like when you know how ridiculous it is. Oh god, there's a one D. It was pretty rowdy. Whoa. I mean, Blitz can be really bad for a variety of reasons, can't it? Even if you do set up against it. like, But you shouldn't get the auto-lose Blitzers once you're, once you're qualifying for Chalice. You shouldn't set up in auto-lose to a Blitz setups. 
Like sometimes you're just down men, you can't help it, can you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. when you have seven or eight, yeah, it's a short drive. Then then, then you just screwed. Like that's gonna happen still. But there's no excuse for eleven men to not set up like Fatal Justice did, so you're covered against the worst thing that can happen. Like, so and it's surprising how many do. It really is. I mean, discounting things like Dome and BBSL and things like that. And Blitz Pit really, because Blitz Pit was in Invitational, wasn't it? And like very small numbers. Like this is probably the highest overall standard of Blood Bowl tournament there is. We're getting 64 people in. But this is the third the round point. already. This is the third round. Yeah. Yeah, it really is amazing how often they don't. But yep, he did the right thing. Well done, Fatal Justice. <laughs> I like this half-assed defense with the, the natty cowering in fear. <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, that makes things, you know, very safe for the Amazons. Because if the natty was around, the Amazons, oh, if I lose the ball or if I make a mistake, that guy is going to come pick up the ball and run away. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, the fastest uh, player the elves have is around there is moving eight. Yeah. I like this foul. It's fair enough, isn't it? You, you down loads of men, but you let you high roll, I think. Right? An armor break is more than enough. The good thing is, if something crazy happens, like, you know, he's not cracking this cage anyway. But the good thing is, if something crazy happens and he does crack the cage, that, that, then this this guy can just move from here to here in a turn anyway. <laughs> yeah. And instantly be yeah, coming out. Yeah, but it's out not there. as dangerous as, you know, being, instead of being uh, there, going, you know, at three scores to score. Yeah, sure. But it's hilarious that he can just become a scoring threat, like, instantly. <laughs> just instantly. Oh, fuck streamer. Yeah. Well, I'll, oh, I'll do an offensive self. Oh, wow. and there it goes. Big. The Good. ball hook. Yep, yep, his sacker is gone. The sacker is gone. I mean, to be fair, he's got sure hands on the throat, on the blitzer anyway, so... So that's why you tackle. need even more to wrestle. Yeah, yeah, the re but he hasn't, he hasn't got... He didn't have wrestle tackle, right? He only had wrestle strip. Ah, oh, right. So he's about the same as the tacklers for getting the ball. Um, but still, yeah, it's still a big one. Still a very big one. <laughs> this is the round of 16, Fluxstream. stream. The elves are going in a little bit now. Which doesn't really jive with the rest of the half, does it? Maybe. I think now the sons have a very good chance of uh, destroying a few elves. Yeah. Uh. Bill is the tackle, uh, diving tackle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Three dice. Oh. Doesn't even kill him. Oh, but he gets the foul. Wow. <laughs> Only one assist foul. Terrible foul. What a terrible foul. <laughs> he could have, he could have pushed him here, right? He could have pushed him here, and then. Put the blitzer there and foul for an extra two assists. Oh, it's the one. No reroll. And it is. I mean, there is no many chances of the elves stopping now the zones. No. He's still just like basing up and everything. I feel like he should. If you're gonna move this, uh, if you're gonna make this blitz and move down this side, I think you don't put another man there to make this block. 
Let me just dodge this one off through up here. And take it take it stronger. But like this is fine, isn't it? It makes him make a roll and it bangs it out a guy maybe. And it's a wrestler that's a way you can get the ball off you. So like it's not terrible to make that hit. They had uh, enough Amazons more or less to cover uh, nearly everybody. Yeah, I would have just liked a bit more. And I guess, to be fair, now this, this opens up this way to get around. Yeah, it makes a Kaz as well. Glorious. So definitely the right play. And to be fair, yeah, it opens that for him to go around there anyway, which is really nice. Really nice. And the dirty players there to foul him as well. So yeah, if, I guess if that's your plan, then get that foul him. Which works perfectly. Nice. He's, he removed two more players than I would have done that turn. <laughs> That's one of the things, isn't it, about Rick and uh, and Chunter? You know, people say they're dice lords, but at the end of the day, they give themselves chances to get lucky by making plays like that. Whereas I tend to make the more conservative ones. Because you're as scared of the one in 36 eh? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm terrified of failing everything. Whereas they think, ooh, this might work. <laughs> it's a little lax. I would have still just moved up the cage. He could have moved the whole cage forward. Like, he didn't need to just commit that one. The forward and to the center, so you know, so that natty there is ah, there you go. Yeah, so the natty there is not the uh, feeling too safe. Yeah, yeah, like you, you could have just moved this cage up first, you didn't need to leave that slightly weaker dodge in. Mm. It doesn't really matter to say, I guess, but still. As long as the protection of the one turner is <laughs> caging the one turner. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh! Oh! He's had some brutal removals, hasn't he? That was justice, and it was fatal. <laughs> so. Now, 100%, you try to hit the one turner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's come straight through in here. I guess you Lord, dodge off the mighty blow, right? You dodge off the mighty blow. Yeah, move the cage to I'm have, you know, 100% safe cage uh, to I score next time. Yep. And will go defend. for the. the ah, one yeah, turner. there's nothing more glorious than a bit of yeah. sweet, sweet one turn touchdown action FFS. <laughs> FFS, that's got to be. Calcium, hasn't it? It has. Glorious. Thank you very much, Calcium. <laughs> oh, wow, he didn't do it. He didn't dodge off the mighty blow. Like, that's one where I might have dodged off the, the mighty blow, like, honestly, because, okay, like, it's getting me the extra hit. But, like, that player is his whole team, isn't it? That's, I would have been tempted to dodge. That's the game. Dodge. Yeah, that's the game. I would have been tempted to go for the dodge just to get the mighty That's the game. Blow. I mean, you're going to score turn 16. He's going to have the one turn of chance with that piece. So it's like... You don't have enough tackle Ooh. to cover every... He's got the double oh, GFI though, out. he's got the double GFI. Oh, in that case, in that case, yeah, with his double GFI away, then maybe it is worth it, just maximum chance of knocking him down. KO'd. Ooh. 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 Massive roll here. Absolutely huge. And yeah, thank you so much, Calcium, for staying fantastic. 63 glorious months and tier 2. Unbelievable. Mountains of beavers for Calcium. <laughs> thank you very, Jesus very much. Jesus Christ, Calcium dropping the cars here. <laughs> what an absolute flippin' legend. Thank you so much, Calcium. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm <laughs> victorious. And I will defend. Well, I one will defend. Is a... Imagine subscribing no looking very good to someone right now. who talks mm. over a bad design. This looks like it could be a very quick uh, overtime. 
<laughs> it could be, but 50 50, we'll see. And thank you very much, Wanchi TV, for staying fantastic for 10 glorious months. And indeed, yes, imagine, imagine subscribing to someone who talks all for a badly designed children's types game. <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? It is funny that. <laughs> but that's a thing. Oh, yep, so he didn't, he didn't get the catcher. Um, so we will not see a one turn from four elves, one of which isn't a natty. <laughs> I don't know, send a message to BTK, you're asking if it's possible. <laughs> but I don't think it's possible. It's definitely not possible. You still play for the riot though, right? You can still play for the riot, but uh, the riot is not good. Or the blitz. <laughs> and you can kill another one. <laughs> Don't say it's over. It's not over because we're going to overtime. Yes. And if the elves get their natty back and win the toss, they've got good odds still. It's so stupid, isn't it? They've been banged out to death. But if they had five players and one's a natty, they can yes. just easily score. If they uh, run a four plus, they get a four plus on that piece, the Amazons have a problem because what do you do? Mm. You know, you defend versus the one turn or do you defend versus a regular uh, sword drive? Yeah, exactly. Brutal. No way! No way! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Calcium dice the shit out of Steve. Oh my god, Steve's having like the worst SFL season ever. <laughs> He's dicing after dicing after dicing. Um, oh, free bribe for everybody. No oh boy, even worse. Yeah, putting the racker on the line. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the real Steve, yeah. Honestly, it seems like everyone he plays is just dicing him and killing all of his players. Like, the first game against Flicky, he just got, like, three dead chorfs instantly. <laughs> and now it's a chorf and a minus MA ball. Oh, man. Oh, the Natty's back! The Natty's back! Does he win the toss? He doesn't win the toss. Well... <laughs> he is fucked then. <laughs> um, it's not over though. Don't say it's over. But, you know, he's got six elves. Versus minimal resistance. So that's uh, tough. That is tough. All right. So the... Nat is back, but the Amazons won the toss. Yeah. So this is not looking very good for the elves. <laughs> Especially because there is an extremely easy blitz on the, the one turner. He's protecting versus the village. Hard time here. And Whoa! he did it right. He yes. did it right. Yes. Glorious. I mean, there was a weak diagonal here. Um, but that was the only bad thing about it. There's so, little, here comes, so few players that it didn't matter. Here guess. comes the Nati. That was an extremely long uh, path. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> He's caught it. <laughs> oh, Nervous is still uh, working there. Well, with a uh, six. Oh, I just instantly powered anyway. Rip. And the armor break. And where's the dirty player? He's dirty going to player the about the going to be free. Way. Yep. I mean, he doesn't need a foul this turn anyway. And also, it's not even a good player anymore now, is it? Now that it's now that he hasn't caught the ball, you can just concentrate on fouling the uh, the blitzers. Another one, yes. Oh, well, this is. Uh, you know, I don't want to say it's over. I know Elliot wouldn't say it's over, but. <laughs> I mean, now you blitz the. Three D here. Yeah, 3D. Going for the pickup, 
before go for the Blitz. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Like, you've made it a 3D, so just go for the 3D. That's really weird. Unless he was going to Blitz this one. But that's so weird, isn't it? Like, if you're going to... if you're gonna. Oh, wow, yeah, there's Okay, a this is going to be the crazy pass. Oh, Blitz is him. I thought he might have dodged through to Blitz this one. Don't know how he didn't have the movement. All right, five plus. We roll. Five me. No. Ooh, nearly. It was so close, wasn't it? It's yes. ridiculous how close. Like it, elves are pretty ridiculous. With like a f three players that was stood a 50, up. That was a fifty percent with the roll. Yeah, and then it's been a two plus away. Lob the pass on like five, fours or fives. Probably four plus pass. Like, it's insane, isn't it? Elven scandal. <laughs> you better pick up the ball and cover the spots there because the Nat is still there. Yeah. But he has a sure hand speed next to the ball, so... Yes. No, he's double one Oh lead. my god! Oh, the other one caught. Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. All, <laughs> part, all part of the plan. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah, he can he can blitz because the night he can recover himself. Oh, oh last reroll goes in. Doesn't oh. get it. Tragedy for augmented beard and Amazons will never win Chalice, but they're gonna get to the quarterfinals. <laughs> and there is still the one in thirty. The quad skulls? Uh, Hexa skulls. <laughs> yeah, Hexa skulls, yes. <laughs> it doesn't happen. I can just make full cages easily. Yeah, around here somewhere. Yeah, it would. I, I mean, I, they can win it, right? Zons can win, Chalice. And it, this is a fine team. It's not that exciting. Like, there's no stats, but he's got six guard. He's got a tackle palm. Literally, as long as you've got a tackle palm or two, you've got a chance of, like, winning every match against elves. Because the tackle palm, can just win it on zero. And that, I was really dumb not, not getting tackle palm on my, uh, on my undead team. The way the dice went, I don't think a tackle palm would have mattered. But it's just such a weapon. Like a dirty player as well. Dirty player and tackle palm just gives you such a strong game against elves, just with two players. Which is, I guess, one of the reasons why it's so hard for elves to win chalice. <laughs> yeah. Technically not over yet, but it's over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this, uh, I don't think this is going to, to be any surprise here. <laughs> there is a chance of this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, double uphill pow, kills the Zon, then the Zon hexaskulls, and, <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly, Morodam, yeah, he really did have the chance after that double one. Uh, not even before, yeah, even before that he had the 5 plus pickup, didn't he? So, yeah, two turns in a row he had a chance to win. Not much chance the second time, but the, the first time was a, quite a decent chance with a 5 plus pickup. Doesn't even pile. Absolute restraint. Big, big oh, mistake because he's 70, 70 SPP. 
Yeah. Yeah, I would another, definitely fight another Wilder. Cash, I don't know, another casualty there gets you in MVP range. Yeah, I would have definitely fouled. I would have definitely fouled. And then you just foul him to protect him, right? Like to. I guess you could be scared that he's going to foul your Blitzer if you pile on, but just just move up your own dirty player to protect him and then foul. I don't think he had the move to get there, though, Sata. And it was more dodges to make, wasn't it? So. I understand if it's the other guy. He's wow, he's just going the, for the... He's going to fall the Nati just to make a point. Yeah, yeah. The BM foul. What a scumbag. <laughs> that doesn't matter, does it? Just wasting all of our lives. <laughs> wasting a few seconds of all of our lives. Yes, well done, for justice. That's the KO. All oh, that for a simple KO. Yeah. yeah, there was no one in the half and he still made a full cage. But, <laughs> but there you go. Just practice. You know? Give the good routines. Yeah. I can't DM Jack Bull, but yeah. Oh, is, is, is Faulty, has Faulty given us some information? No, not yet. Um, right, there you go anyway, that was it, Cobra Daka lost, Fatal Justice won, congratulations Fatal Justice, commiserations, Augmented Beard, thank you so much, Find me for the core commentary, absolutely glorious. Uh, absolutely glorious, always uh, nice to be here. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.